Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is talk to you about how to solve uh, exponential equations. Now when we're dealing with exponential equations, there's basically kind of two ways you can do this. You can do it without a calculator, um, or you can basically do it with a calculator. All right, there's kind of like your two ways. Now, the one thing I didn't uh, talk about was you know, using your inverse operations, but I think that's the very basic. If we're looking at an exponential equation, that means something is in the form of y equals b to the x, right? So if we have pluses and minuses going on anywhere, the main important thing that we want to do is get them to the same side, you know, get them to the side, so therefore it's isolated, so we can have an equation that is in this form, which is our exponential form. Um, <clears throat> so for instance, like if I had, I don't know, I'll just do uh, 10 equals 2 to the x uh, plus 2, right? So in this case, you know, we want to make sure it's in this format. So what I would do is subtract a 2 on both sides. Therefore, I have 8 equals 2 to the x. All right? Now, that kind of brings me to my next point as far as applying the 1 to 1 property. Basically, the 1 to 1 property states if I have b to the x equal to b to the y, then x is going to equal y. So basically what we want to do is be able to write our equations with the same basis. Now, some equations, this is very easy to do. Some equations, this is a little bit more difficult to do. I have a very basic problem um, on purpose just to kind of show you what exactly you need to do. But not all the problems are going to be this obvious. But I will tell you a lot of them are. You just got to get practice you know, with the skills. So I want to be able to see, over here I have 2 to the x. Can I rewrite 8 as 2 to some power? And yes, I can. I can rewrite that as 2 to the third power equals 2 to the x. Now that I have them in the 1 to 1 property, I know that uh, 3 is equal to x or x is equal to 3. Okay. Now that it would be your non-calculator portion. So if you have um, you know, some problems and you see that the numbers kind of look like they're being raised to powers, even with their fractions or negatives, if you kind of see them similar, more than likely you can use the one-to-one -one property to go ahead and solve. However, um, you could also, if maybe like you're stuck and you're like, ah, I just can't figure this one out, you can always still use our calculator portion, which would be taking the log of both sides or converting to logarithmic form. Now I'm going to do this for the exact same problem, 8 equals 2x. I'm going to do this both ways so you can see how the answer would be. And then I'm going to do a problem where we would have to use these calculator forms. Okay. So when you're using taking the log of both sides, basically you're going to log. Say you're going to say log of 8 equals log of 2 to the x. But adding additionally the log is not really the purpose that we want to do. What we want to do is get rid of this variable in the power as our exponent. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of the same base as our power b. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to take log base 2. Now, if you take log base 2 on the right side, you have to take log base 2 on the left side. And remember, log base b of b raised to the x just equals x. That's a rule of logarithm that we need to remember from you know, previous chapters, I guess you would say. So now, what we happen is we have log base 2 of 2 raised to the x. That just equals x. So we have log base 2 of 8 is equal to x. Now, basically, what is this question asking? It's the logarithm base 2 of 8 is saying 2 raised to what power gives you 8? Well, that answer is going to be 3, or x equals 3. Another way we could look at this would be 8 equals 2 to the x. You could just convert this to a logarithmic form. If you remember how to convert from exponential to logarithmic form, we could say, oh yeah, this is log base 2 of 8 equals x. Oh, OK, 2 raised to what power gives you 8? Oh, that's 3. x equals 3. So for these values, it's kind of simple and it's kind of easy to understand. However, usually you know, applying the 1 to 1 property is going to be the quickest and the easiest, especially once you get your familiarity with numbers. Um, however, there will be um, exponential functions where you can't use the 1 to 1 property. We can't raise 7. We can't raise 2 to a power to get 7. So therefore, you'd want to either take the log of both sides or convert to, uh, to logarithmic form. Either way, again, just make sure when you take the log of both sides, you're not taking the log base 7. You've got to take the log of your base where your variable is your exponent. So therefore, we would have log base 2 of 7 equals log base 2 of x. I'm sorry, of 2 raised to the x. So therefore, you'd have x equals log base 2 of 7. And then from here, what you need to use is what we call our change of base formula. So if you remember, the change of base formula is you can use log base 10 of 7 over log base 10 of 2. 
or you could use natural log of 7 over natural log of 2. Or if you have a really great calculator where you can plug in the value and the different base, then you can do that as well. But either way, you're going to have to, majority of scientific calculators have log base 10 or uh, natural base. So therefore, you just need to make sure when you have an example like this, just make sure you use the uh, change of base formula because these are going to be, you know, approximate, uh, these are going to be real values where here we're going to be dealing with some approximations. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the basics for how you solve exponential equations. Thanks.